Apocalypse. What's up, guys? Oda King Live coming at you again for actually the second Joe pickup video I've done on this channel so far. And there's a googly eye right there. But um, that is not a Joe eye, that is a googly eye. Um, either way, uh, today's episode is going to be pretty much the last three or four uh, trades and or Joe pickups I've done. I've been doing a lot of trades with some of the great guys on the uh, the Joe Facebook groups, the the big PX one, and then the uh, the other uh, you know can Canadian one. So I try to do as much trading on the Canadian one as I can to help with the shipping, but. You just can't argue with the amount of product that's on PX. So a lot of times I got to go there, especially for my parts. So let's get right into it. So we got our first box of goodness. And if you see, uh, if you see uh, a trade that you've done, leave a comment down below. Um, I've been doing so many recently, I can't keep track of everybody right now. And um, <laughs> it's kind of getting out of control and maybe I need to slow down. But uh, for now, let's get into this first one. Now this first one uh, was actually from about a week or two ago. I've just been slacking. So it looks like, yes, it looks like this is a Rattler part set. Uh, both end wing bomb uh, sets that I needed, which is just excellent. I'm always needing Rattler parts. Uh, let's see what else I got. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this. This is the missing parts of the, what is it, the Swamp. Swamp Fire, Dreadnought Swamp Fire, I believe. And then two pieces from my Mauler that I was missing. And you will see Mauler parts come up uh, in one of these other boxes. Because I've been really trying to uh, finish the Mauler off. Now, some of this stuff doesn't even, didn't come with it. This is part of the uh, the bunker. It's, this was actually a different deal. And I honestly don't think I got the bunker up here right now. Ah, uh, yes. No, no, I do have the bunker up here. Okay. That was one deal there. This is actually another one. This one's local, actually. It's uh, a guy I met online on Marketplace, and I know him through the Canadian site as well. And now we do deals uh, locally. I'll just drive over to his house, and uh, we'll, we'll do some trades. So I got the bunker off him, which is just awesome. It's nothing I actually thought I'd <laughs> kind of ever have. And I traded him uh, one of my parts whales for it. He gave me uh, the dial tone, which somehow I didn't have still. And then, um, because he's so rad, he got me the cover girl, uh, right out of his collection. Couldn't believe he did it. And, um, I think that's awesome. And then when I went up to my car, I left my, my lights on and my battery was dead and he had to boost me too. So it was a good old day of Joe Bronis. Now this is a, another Rattler set. Uh, again, I bought this off eBay for, uh, $10. He won $17 shipping, but he was actually only about 30 minutes away from me. So I was like, bro, can I just drive up there and get it? And he said, sure. He left it in the, uh, in his mailbox. And I just went and grabbed it instead of paying that gross shipping fee. So pretty happy about that because again, I always need Rattler parts. Now, next up, let's get into this, this box. As you can see, I already cracked it open. You know, I can never, can never resist cracking open boxes as soon as they come. Uh, what do we got here? Some of these, uh, just a little quick shout out. Some of you Joe bros, your packing is on point, man. I, I'm i a noob when it comes to packing. I'll just I'll just throw everything in a bag and be done with it. And people will probably hate me. I really got to up my game. Because uh, look at this. Bubble wrap inside bags, inside bubble wrap. Like this is just crazy. But this is, uh, this is another uh, local, uh, you know, Canada, G.I. Joe Canada collectors group uh facebook group the deal that i did um i this was a cash deal this wasn't a, a trade the the one over there and the one over there are, were trade deals you know i gave joe some joe stuff for some joe stuff this was a cash deal and um hey when it comes to tiger force i needed them so uh, uh yeah a nice nice minty roadblock tiger force the tripwire tiger force I needed, and I'm getting some probably some wicked glare here because I got the light right above me. Now uh, this is a this is a little a little uh, tunnel rat uh, concoction here that I grabbed up cheap, and then, uh, the beachhead that had been eluding me forever, just like dial tone. I don't know how he hadn't had a beachhead yet. Unfortunately, his uh, niblets are broken off, and he's got he's got like a bullet wound to the head here. But uh, you know whatever, that's good. Now I, I got into the modern. 
and uh, I grabbed this uh, Destro, but his uh, his chrome dome is uh, it's wearing off. It's showing some skin. That'll be another one that I'll, I'll have to upgrade in the the future. And then this is of course uh, one of the newer Lady J's, where thanks to all this baggy uh, goodness, it's uh, hard to focus in on. And then uh, one of the newer Major Bloods, of course. Uh, the Tiger Force, uh, was it Sky Striker pilot, I believe. And then um, Tiger Force again, Rakondo. And then it's a, one of the newer Snake Eyes, which I need to check. God knows there's, a, what, 30 or 40 of these? And uh, God knows I might already have them. So that was just a big, a big buy. So I love those. I gotta go through those. And then we got this other box. And then God knows there's a couple more. But and there, here we go with the, the. This is actually I think two, two, two sets in here. What are these peanuts, man. Where do you guys get these peanuts from? This must be a U.S. thing or something. Because I'm pretty sure you can't get these in Canada. But I don't know because a Canadian, one of the Canadians sent me these, so I, I don't even know anymore. So either way, this is another uh, big, big. Parts and Joe deal I did. Uh, one of the guys on PX was listing some parts and I wanted some. And then he had some Joes too. So he said, uh, you know, hey, give me 20 bucks, take all these Joes. And I was like, sure, why not? I never really planned on getting any these Star Brigade Space Age Joes. I think they're just god awful. But uh, for a couple bucks, I just can't really say no. I realized that these two are missing their face masks. Took me forever to figure out who they were because of that. And then um, this I thought was a stun cover from the pitcher, but it's clearly not. It's actually a backpack. This I thought was a cl cloth. Uh, I thought this was a cloth um, uh, cape, but it's a plastic one. Probably probably more for modern. And here's a, uh, a Warthog missile that unfortunately I apparently already have two of. And then I got a skid uh, sled missile and a kitten. And then um, a missing Swamp Masher missile, a couple uh, missiles for the Mud Fighter, and a kitten. And then a couple backpacks for the Sonic Forces. Uh, again, like I said earlier, the two two more Mauler pieces. This is what I really wanted. I wanted the battery cover really bad. And then he had actually the other hatch, which was just awesome. And then uh, a couple Stiletto missiles, and then I got some file cards from them, which are, they're more modern, but they are nice. I, I can never say no to file cards, especially considering I think they were a buck each uh, and at a dollar. It's hard to say no to. So I got those. And then um, I think, okay, yeah, no, nothing else in there. It was just all these goody, goody parts that I have to uh, go through and try to put all together with my vehicles that are everywhere. So let's try to get those back together there. And then I did another deal. Uh, again, this was a cash deal, uh, another Canadian. And this is a bag, oh, okay, actually there's two deals in here. Um, this was actually a, a grab bag, pretty much. Um, what it was, was he just said it was a bag of Joes for, for I believe 20 bucks, and I said, hell yeah. And I grabbed that up as fast as I could. So he also sold me a uh, flat cannon, G.I. Joe flat cannon. So. 20 bucks, I got this bag of Joes. Now, as you can tell, there's some there's some quality guys in here. You got some blood, and this was what I really wanted. I really wanted the, uh, was this, I believe it's the mail away slaughter. I did not have him. I have like five other slaughters, but not him. There's also a Hiss tank driver in there. Some uh, some real retro dudes, I, you got the uh, Dreadnoughts. And um, hell, I could not complain for $20. I thought that was an amazing deal. A couple other guys were trying to get in on it, but I had it and it was like too late. And then I also got the, the was it life, low light or life, low, low light? I can never remember half the time. Sorry about that. And then I got him too from him. And then from one of my local Joe sellers, he sells toys, retro games, everything. Uh, he let me go through a new case that just had come in. And I picked up uh, the cross, the, the newer cross country with the uh, really nice flag on his back. And then I got a... What is this guy called again? Oh my god. Of course, even though I said his name 50 times yesterday, I'm going to forget right now. Worms, I believe. Yes. And then uh, and then another huge deal I did, I got this bat. Uh, mostly modern came out. This was the only vintage that came out of that deal. Um, I'm missing one Joe. I don't know where he went. I got uh, a Guile, but who knows. So either way, um, that other 
pickup was huge. Came with a ton of vehicles and everything else. I'll do that one in my next pickups video. This is already long enough. So if you saw something you like, leave a comment down below. If you're new, Joe bro, uh, give me a yo Joe in the comments. Uh, you know, like whatever. And uh, I'll talk to you next time. Peace.